Hey, hello. Okay, so before I get into in more depth, I'm going to say some things here, like in a short version that you can rewind to. Okay, so one mechanic is overall resonance. Example of that is two feelings equals a third of that neither of these two can do by themselves. When they're together, then you get this. Okay. AM, amplitude modulation. So this plays into um, some things like, like the nature of auxiliary cables and assuming you're running an analog signal for them. Uh, if you're talking around that, that can end up in the signal due to having dips in the amplitude, right? Okay. Um, so, and then equalization, I guess I can get into that now. All right. So, but here's the thing, right? Like with digital though, if you're doing like digital and the amplitude's not being affected, no matter what's going on the outside or whatever, then those AMs, amplitude modulations are being missed out, missed out on. Why, that, why is that thing selling right now? Anyway. Okay. So let's get into it now. So this regards music production, and this is what I think is happening a lot of times. Okay, so especially especially in the digital age, which like I just said, AM's not being captured, which also means that you know they're not necessarily being captured, and the overall resonance may not necessarily be captured. Keyword necessarily or not necessarily. All right, so let's say I make something in a FL Studio, and let's say the way I'm producing it, like say if I use EQs, I use reverberation, stereo widener, etc. Right, and um, like the way I'm doing it, like it feels real sick to me, right? Like I love this shit. Like oh yeah, this is what I wanted, right? But then like, like say you make it at home. In your conditions, right? I know it's not as simple as all because you got the ley line, you got the clothes you're wearing, because the ley line and the clothes you're wearing, etc., have like their natural resonance frequency. And then there's another type of frequency which I like to dub the temporary, which is the one you can change out. So, like, for example, my shirt, its natural resonance frequency will stay the same, but like with the sound of me talking is changing that temporary one. That's the one that can be switched out. That, that can also end up in stuff, and that can also influence things. That could be part of overall resonance, etc. Okay. So, um, music production, right. So, it feels, it feels like the way you want it, where you are, right? But let's say you go and listen to it somewhere else, and it feels like it's lacking, right? All right. So, yeah. So what's happening probably is it's the result of overall resonance that worked where you were when you produced it, um, and the the feelings and the overall resonance, the amplitude modulations may not necessarily like even in the analog age. Like yeah, you got like the tape, and you know you can influence that, and you've got auxiliary, but just because of that. Just because that's happening, it does not necessarily mean it's going to catch everything. It also does not necessarily mean it's not going to catch anything. It could be everything, it could be nothing, it could be somewhere in between. Um, you know, it could be sneaky back then too, of course. Um, but especially now with digital, where, you know, that's not, this is, these feelings are not necessarily ending up in it, then yeah. You know that you can miss out on that. So, all right. Oh my God, this is probably rambly as hell. But yeah, I think you probably get it now. S stuff's being missed out on because, like, yeah, it felt great where I was, but then when I played it somewhere else, it's missing that. So yeah, those feelings did not end up in there necessarily. You could like make some pitches and stuff that like matches some of what you're feeling does not necessarily mean you're getting everything in there though right all right so hopefully uh this clears stuff up 
Um, one of the things that I would recommend to help this is um, if, like, if you don't want to do like having other people from other locations check, then what you're going to want to do, I can't guarantee it for you because you know you might still have like same clothes, you might have same shower products, same this, same that. Um, you know, there could be something like it was something that was part of the overall residence that was here today, gone tomorrow. And you can't consciously, like, you you know, you know, you recognize the feeling you felt at the end, but you may not necessarily consciously be able to name it, though. And, like, say, okay, I'm going to go to the store and get that, that perfume or that spray, right? So, what I would suggest is you could, if you, like, especially if you have something like a laptop, um, you could... You could produce it one way at your house and then you can go into another location and reproduce it another way. Uh, if you don't want to do it like a doing it live, like while you're at a location, you could just produce it different ways at home, but you still got like the uh, thing that's going on here. And yeah, you could listen to like the low key. you could like listen to the sound of like a Starbucks or something, right? But you're still like, you know what I mean? Like, you can, like, go look at a video and, like, or you can look up, like, a thunderstorm and you get, like, the way that feels over there. But you still have, like, the influence of, like, where you are, though. So you gotta keep that in mind. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you don't want... Yeah, okay, I think I've covered it now. Alright. Alright, so. Peace out. Bye. Another thing I want to mention is that when you change the volume on the actual amplifier, sound amplifier, that changes the draw rate, right? So that can also be a factor in here too. So you can do different draw rates. Um, if you can find a way to digitally turn up the volume or turn down the volume without changing the draw rate, the volume on the actual amplifier, then that that's something to think about too, you know.